Hello everyone, I'm back and I thought I'd do a video uh, showing uh, the whole acrylic pouring from A to Z because um, I'm getting a lot of questions and they're really the basic questions so I thought if I'd make a video showing it step by step then um, I wouldn't get that much questions about the basic stuff. So this is the canvas is all ready. I will be oops, I will be uh, doing it on the spinny thing because I just want to explore that just a little bit more. And um, I'll take it off right after I poured it. Uh, so we're gonna start. What I've done is I've put some uh, paint in here. Already put in some. Liquid text, but I think I should better start with the colors because you always ask. This is the titanium white 105. I have the turquoise green 661, and it's almost empty. It makes me very nervous because this is my favorite color. Uh, then I have the Van Dyke brown uh, 403. Always put in a little bit of red, and that is um, red color 315. I put a little bit of red, a little bit of orange, and a little bit of yellow, and then it gets that really nice chocolatey color. Then I have the orange, Azo Orange 276. And I have the yellow, which I only have the Expert, but you can get the standard series because that's pretty much okay. Uh, that's number 210-210. Cadmium yellow deep. And then of course we have the Liquitex pouring medium. So I have already mixed three colors and I have five but I, I wanted to show you uh, again about the consistency. Because lots of people ask, you know, how thick, how thin, how much water do you put in? So in here, it's the white titanium. There is about 20% pouring medium in there. And then with a little squirt bottle, all that's in here is just plain water. I squirt some water in and I start mixing it up. What I do find important is that you mix it really well because usually I just put on the TV when I start mixing colors and it can take up to, well, 40 minutes up to an hour when I'm mixing paint because I think it has to be the, um, the consistency that I'm looking for and if it's too thin I'll add some more uh, paint and if it's too thick I'll add some more water but what I'm looking for is if you use plastic cups and you use these uh, stirring sticks, what you're looking for is that you put it on the stick like this. If nothing comes off, then it's too thick. And of course you can experiment. Nothing wrong with experimenting, but my, um, from the, I've, I've, I've mixed so much paint and I'm, I'm sure that if you hold it up like this and nothing drops off, it's too thick. Then it won't run over your canvas and then you won't get the pretty cells. And So I just um, keep on mixing. And make sure you go along the sides, very important. And then you see it dropping off in pieces. Not good, still too thick. And you should just enjoy, you know, mixing the paint because it's really calming and it's fun to do. So right now I'm thinking, okay, I'm almost there. If you can see if I hold it up like that, you see a little build up on the stick, but if I put the stick right up, it, it pours off and it pours off in one big motion and then you get three or four drops at the end. 
and that's when I know that the consistency is just about how I like it. So you pick up your stick, hold it horizontal, you see a little build up, then you hold it vertical, it pours right off, and then you get like four drops at the end. And that's it. Then I have the yellow. See, that's the yellow, and there's the pouring medium. So again, I always put the paint in first, then uh, about 20% um, pouring medium. But you can go 30-40% if you want to. Uh, and then I add the water. As, as soon as the pouring uh, medium is totally mixed in with the paint, then you can add the water. If you don't do that, you get all those little bumps. You know, you never get it really smooth and you get all the bumps on the canvas. And sometimes it's a nice effect, but I just like it to be all smooth and silky. A little bit more. And taking along the sides. And you have build up and there it goes off the stick but in pieces and you don't want pieces because if it comes off in pieces it's too thick just a bit more okay now we have our paints mixed yep that's it then we get to the silicone. The silicone I use is this one because I like what it does, but I haven't seen much difference in um, spray can silicones. They all pretty much do the same. Uh, what I do is keep the can upright, like I said, keep it upright. If you do like this, you get a lot of air and you are not certain how much silicone you get. So keep it upright, put that little red pin thing in the cup. The first one was air, I could hear it. So two, two squirts. And like here, you can see there's almost no paint in here. So I'm just gonna do a real short one. The brown, twice. The turquoise. Three times because there's just a little bit more paint in there and this one so I have silicone in all my colors and then I think it's very important that you um, give it a flink like a good stir to get all that silicone through the paint And just keep on stirring until you're certain that all your silicone is totally stirred in thoroughly and it doesn't give you those really ugly big cells. You could do two things. You could do uh, the silicone and then really stir it up well and then just put another spray of silicone in there and just stir like two or three times then you might get like really a lot of little ones and some big ones but I'm gonna be trying to um, uh, get bigger cells by tilting the canvas today so that's that and the last one the yellow And I'm really hoping I have enough paint in there, so because you know me, I'm always um, mixing not enough paint. So, oh, I gotta get the sleeves up a little bit because I am thinking that paint will be flying again, and I'll move that because otherwise you can't see it. Mm, a little bit more. 
Yeah, that's about it. Okay, it has room to drip off. And I was thinking of just pouring it right in the middle and just letting it go. And I will do that with a new plastic cup. Okay, we have the plastic cup. And like always, start off with the white. And then I put in the turquoise. And I like to pour it from up high because I already told you it gives an effect in the paint. Putting in the orange. Putting in the yellow, then again some white. Can you see already stuff happening there in the cup? And I talked a lot about the uh, density of the paints. So white is always the most dense. It'll drop right to the bottom. So you want white in first because that's the last color that's going to come out. And the other colors, you'll just have to go experiment. I can't tell you anything about the other densities. I know that the um, Fitello Blue is pretty um, uh, uh, light compared to white. White is the most heavy. So. Sometimes they they uh, you can find stuff on Google about the colors. Okay, this is it. And a good thing for myself because I'm going to be making a lot of these canvases. It's uh, 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters, and I was going to do a lot of these uh, the size because I want to make um, a collection because I want to start sell selling some of my paintings. So here we go. Whoops. Let's put that, give it a little bit more room. That's okay, that looks good. And I wanna, oh, don't wanna do it on that turntable though. I'm sorry I can't can you see it but I don't want to get all the paint on the turntable okay I wasn't spinning very fast and next time I'll spin faster okay that's it Because I do want the sides to be done. Bitty doo da, right up there. Let it drop off a little bit. Okay, it's totally covered right now. Only the sides. You have to do the sides. And I just might pour, do a little extra pour because I can't see any brown and I'd like some brown in there. Nah, just like, leave it like this. Now, sometimes you just have to take what, what's given, right? Can't always have it like you have it in your mind. Before I pour, I always have this this sort of a idea that 
how it's gonna what it's gonna look like but it doesn't always work that way sometimes you just have to uh, like what what's happening and like I said I have a lot of these canvases and I'm gonna be making a whole collection so next one I can do something different Okay, that's looking really good. One more side to go. Just little little spots that are totally covered. That's looking good. Okay. Ready to torch. And I want it this way, I think. I like that, that it goes down. But I don't want to torch the whole thing. So, let's see where we're going to torch. Yep, I like that. That is beautiful. Because the brown came up. And then I think I would like some cells up here. That's pretty. And like that. Maybe a little down here and a little down there. And that's it. I don't want it too full with cells. Then, what I was thinking... Let me see what happens if I tilt. It is moving a little bit. But I like it like this. Oh, the sides are really beautiful. Let me do the sides a little bit more. I like the sides, um, if the sides have all the cells. That is nice. Yep. Oops, sorry, can't see anything. I'll show you the sides in a minute. Okay, that's it. Yes, I'm re I'm really um, satisfied with this one. So I have to get some cups. And then I'll show you the sides. Taken off the gloves and I'll show you up close. Gotta watch out where I put my fingers. Okay. And it goes over the sides. Do you see the cells all down the sides? I, I really like that. And up here, let's see. It just poured right over the edge and there are cells everywhere on the on the sides
So that's about it. Gotta move it closer a little bit to show the sides. Uh, the sides are somewhat in the uh, shadows. Let's see on this side. Yeah, you can see some of it. Okay, that's it. Um, I think it's pretty because I didn't torch the whole thing. There are some calm pieces in there, here and there. And uh, I like that. And there are some really big cells, like here. Let's see if I can get the glare off. These are really big. And you got the wee little itty bitty ones. So, I hope this is, um, explains it better that I showed you uh, from the beginning to the end about the mixing and putting in the silicone and pouring and tilting and doing the sides and torching. There's nothing in the torch because someone asked, do you put the silicone in the torch? No, I do not put silicone in the torch. There's only gas in the torch. So there's nothing special going on. I, I show you everything I do, everything I put in there. So this is it. And what what is funny to me is that, you know, every time I pour these colors, you get something different on the canvas. That is so, you know, you can't even see the orange. Yeah, a little bit down here. But... You know, sometimes you lose a lot of colors and sometimes you get all the colors. And that, that's what makes this stuff so amazing. You know, everyone can pour the same color. If uh, 2,000 people were to pour the same color, you would still get different canvases. So that's cool, I think. So thank you again for watching and try to make something beautiful. See you till next time. Bye-bye.